InsideEdition.com. It's called public transportation, which means you're not the only one on the bus or train. But try telling that to this person, who Les Trent says is now in the running for the rudest commuter ever. Get your feet off of me! We've seen rude commuters, but never like this. How dare you? You're 75? yourself. You are acting like a child. She keeps putting her dirty feet up, not on the seat, but in her neighbor's lap. When I put my feet up, I'm going to put them on the No, f***ing not. It's a totally obnoxious effort to get her fellow passenger to move. Get the f*** off of me. You're getting your f***ing shoes. Stop it. It definitely was just an unforgettable experience. Josephina Laurie says it started when she sat across from this stranger on the Metro North commuter train from New York to Connecticut. But when the woman asked her to move so she could put her feet up, she refused. Why didn't you just get up and leave? I'm the kind of person where I don't like bullies, and it would have been almost as if she won the situation and got a reward for bad behavior. Even the conductor got involved. There's even seats up there to put your feet up. We rode the rails to see for ourselves how rude some commuters can be. On the busy Long Island Railroad, we spotted plenty of folks taking up coveted seat space with giant bags. This guy hogs an extra seat for his scooter. And day after day, we watched this woman commuting with her bare feet out. Thomas Farley, a.k.a. Mr. Manners, says these days politeness and courtesy are sometimes sorely lacking during rush hour. What really irks me are people who take up way more than the space that they are entitled to. So they're sprawling out on the seats. They've got their feet up on the seats. Tell it to this lady. Get your feet off of me! And taking up extra space could cost you. The New York Transit Authority could fine you $50 for keeping your bag or other personal items, including your feet, on an empty seat. Cops